would you like to travel the world? Would you like to see spectacular sights, do community service, and see amazing artwork? How would you like to spend a day with llamas or sail in a city with no roads? Today's guest has traveled to seven different countries seeing things that you can't find in the United States. He will talk about his travels and what he has experienced in them. The Humanities Mass Communication Department at Norwalk Community College presents The New Directors, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. And I'll join our host, Cynthia Abreu, to meet the new directors. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of the New Directors. All people involved in this program are a student in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as a talent for the first time today. The guests that you're about to meet are a student who, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you with the few mistakes possible. Each student will write and direct four different productions. The, this program will give you the chance to talk about themselves, the production they have, are planning and to give the chance to get to know them and watch their progress throughout the semester. Our guest today is an NCC student in the film and TV production course and an experienced traveler that has been to seven different countries around the world. We would like to meet today's guest, Ben Alper. Hi. So tell us about your travels around the world. So first I went to uh, Costa Rica, Spain, and Peru. I got to do a lot of community service uh, trips there with uh, my school class, um, Spanish class. And we got to go to uh, um, Machu Picchu and we got a zip line across Costa Rica. And uh, it was really a fun time. And we got to help communities around the world to uh, help, uh, we helped build schools, and we helped rebuild a lot of things for them, which was a lot of fun for me and my classmates. And then I got to go to uh, England, Paris, and Italy, which was a lot of fun for me because I do like artwork, and I thought it was a great time to go. Wow. Um, that is in Paris. It was um, the Louvre, and that is the Eiffel Tower, which was amazing to see. And uh, it was a really great time in Paris. And then I got to go to England. And I got to see Big Ben. And it was a really amazing sight, which is, and got to see a lot of castles. Wow. I got to um, so pretty. visit very nice gardens. And then I went to Italy. Italy was probably one of my favorite trips so because um, Italy is such an amazing place. Um, a lot, of, a lot of artwork, a lot of amazing cities, uh, great food. I thought the food was amazing. Wow, um, really. <laughs> a lot of fountains with a lot of um, sculptures. Um, and then Venice. Venice was um, a city that does not have any roads. They only have water. So um, you have to go on boats to get to your house. And Interesting. Um, that's the only way to get around. So. It was actually a lot of fun traveling in boats, and yeah, that's my trip around the world. Why did you decide to take the TV production course? I decided to take the TV production course because um, when I was very little, I wanted to become an actor. But from then on, I kind of got to go behind the scenes, took a course in high school about video production, and I really wanted to um, stay behind the scenes more. Um, get to know a lot about directing, editing, and stuff like that, so yeah. What are the more, most useful things you have learned in this course? Um, really, I thought AVID. AVID was a, a great program to learn to get out into the field of directing. Um, I thought also the camera positions that we got to learn, it really uh, puts a film together, and I thought that was great to learn throughout the semester. Tell us about your project, your four projects you create, that including the talk, the student studies, the Orange Project, and the Fall College. The first project that we got to do was the talk. And I felt like 
We got to work a lot with actors throughout this project, which was good. And yeah. it really, well, with camera positions and the acting and all the editing, it got a, it really put everything together, uh, which helped me in later projects. And yeah, I thought um, that was a good project to do. And next was my uh, student studies project. Um, we got to work in the library, and I really tried to plan this out very well with um, all the camera positions and uh, trying to find a place to shoot and just really working with everyone in my group to um, get this uh, project to where it needed to be. And the next project was my uh, orange project, wow. which I got to write a script, do a storyboard, find actors, which um, was a lot of fun because I really wanted to get more into directing. So this project really helped me uh, it really guided me into more about directing, and yeah, I thought that was a good project to do. Good. Yeah, I was <coughs> there. The next was uh, the fall project, and I felt pretty good about this project. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun to go around my um, my neighborhood and get to shoot all the trees and all the leaves on the ground to really show what fall is about in uh, North Stanford. And um, showing shift focus and stuff like that was a lot of fun to do. Yeah, I see the nature there. Tell us about your best project. My best project was my uh, fall foliage project. I really felt that um, I really got to know a lot about nature and how to film nature. Yes. Um, really showing shift focus, uh, zoom in and zoom out, stuff like that, and really putting it into Avid and editing to make it look like like it was actually a film or it was like the beginning of a TV show. And using a lot of stuff like curved lines and just really getting into the camera and um, the leaves and all of that, which um, I thought was a, a great time. Also using uh, colors and to really bring out all that is fall yeah. in North Stanford. Makes it looks nice, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see it's pretty good. You mentioned various things you have learned in this course. What are the most interesting and useful things um, important thing you learn and we'll, how would you put it to use? Um, really the aspects of directing I think um, helped me to move forward. Um, definitely using Avid could help me get internships um, and really make, be able to make my own movies yeah. so I can someday become a director. Wow. Today we got to meet someone who shared with us tr his travel his travel experience across the world. As a new TV director, he hopes to apply what he learned at NCC to document other travel experiences. He also plans to use the new knowledge from Television One to edit exp exciting travel videos in the future. We would like to thank Ben for joining us today. We hope you enjoy, do enjoy meeting one of the Television Future's directors and hope you will continue Join us each week to watch our progress. Thank you and good day. This has been The New Directors with your host, Cynthia Abreu, directed by Felipe Denati. I'm your announcer, Jonathan Berg. The New Directors is a Norwalk Community College student production.